people there still aren't any fans in the stands at the United Center, but starting on March 10th, there will be thousands of doses of COVID-19 vaccine. Let's go to WGN's Megan Dwyer. She is live at the United Center with more. Megan. Yeah, in just a few uh, short weeks, this is going to be a major vaccination site. There's a lot of activity already out here today. Uh, Governor Pritzker today saying this is not a game winning shot, but instead a life saving one. This, folks, is what presidential leadership looks like. Chicago's mayor today praising the Biden administration for its help in order to open a major vaccination site at the United Center. Everyone that needs a shot or wants a shot will get a shot. First priority initially will go to seniors. People age 65 and older will be able to sign up for appointments first, then later everyone else who is eligible. This site helps all of us get one step closer to a sense of normalcy. You can live anywhere in Illinois and come to the United Center for your vaccination. They hope to give shots to nearly 3 million people. It's easy to get to. It's in the midst of a medically underserved community. It can handle large crowds and is well known to everyone in Illinois. Particularly important is the location, close to neighborhoods that have been hardest hit by the pandemic. A recent study shows Chicago's vaccination rate in black and Latinx zip codes at 5%, and it's 13% in white zip codes. Today, Senator Dick Durbin saying we've got to do better. The need is great, especially for our seniors and our brown and black populations, which have been disproportionately impacted. Setup started at the site today, but shots won't start until March 10th. Uber also announcing it will give 20,000 free rides to people coming for their shots from the south and west sides. Today, leaders saying hope is on the horizon. We are truly in a race against time to get people vaccinated before this virus mutates even further. Now, uh, Governor Pritzker today was pressed on whether he expects this to be a smoother rollout than there have been with vaccination sites in other areas. Uh, he did not directly answer that question. He was also pressed today on whether we will see fans back in the stands here at the United Center anytime soon. Also, dodge that one. We are live at the United Center tonight. Megan Dwyer, back to you guys. Okay, Megan. Thank